Okay, so another exciting week this week. Each week we're cracking on with jobs and um, it takes us a little bit closer to us actually moving in to this being their bedroom in the piggeries. Obviously this is the second phase of renovation. So um, today what I'm doing is cleaning all of the beams up because Ted is going to be putting the plasterboard ceiling in tomorrow. It's so good, it's so good. We're getting walls, ceilings, roofs, floors. It's a proper room coming to fruition, which is absolutely brilliant. I'm so excited. I'll tell you what the most thing I'm excited about. I may have spent three years in a temporary bed being moved from pillar to post in a tent, but the most exciting thing for me in this room is not having a bed that we don't ever have to move again, that's not inside a tent, but having a wardrobe to actually hang my clothes in. Because at the moment, our clothes are just in boxes. Obviously, all we do is live in work clothes. Um, and then when the restaurant's open, I put a red t-shirt on, that's about it. I'm just so excited. And you women out there will understand what I mean about having a wardrobe and actually hanging my clothes up and being able to see what I've actually got. Um, anyway, so back to today, stop waffling Lisa, clean up all of these beams, woodworm treatment, and then stain them so that they're all ready. So when the plasterboard goes on, um, they're already done because otherwise put the plasterboard on first then I try and stain them um, where might the plasterboard and obviously the plasterboard is going to be tape and jointed and painted but it's better to do the staining first I think anyway um, so yeah I better get on I guess we better do a bit of time lapse Now, a lot of people hire a sandblaster or have somebody come in to do sandblasting for them to clean up beams like this. But as we've found on all of the other apartments, a wire brush costs 2.99 euros. It's a bit of elbow grease, it's hard work, but to be honest with you, when you do it versus the cost of a sandblaster, now we know because our neighbor hired one last week and it was a thousand euros for the week. He then had to pay on top all of the sand that he had to use. And um, like he said, it causes a lot of mess. By the time you've cleaned it all up, you might as well use one of these and save yourself a lot of money. I think I hear Sebastian has just turned up from Big Mac to deliver all the plasterboard and everything. So let's go and take a look. Sebastian. Hi.
that's where your spots are going. <laughs> Why is them bloody things? Because they're kidding. Yeah. They're all oh, there's an half of that. <laughs> We've got um, Mr. Pete Hoare from um, over at Max Cabernet come to give us a quick hand because we are about to start boarding the ceiling. Um, we have spent the morning laying our clips in, but um, sorry, our, our hangers, these things here, these metal things, which then take the rail, which we then screw the board to. We're obviously going to put insulation in the loft, in the roof, uh, because that is a good thing to do. So there's 200 mils of insulation to go in, so that's quite a lot of so. things. But when we're in here, we obviously re we suddenly realised that we've got no cabling in for the spotlights that we wanted. So Pete, who's done a bit of this, we've just put the first fix cabling in. Cool. It's yeah? exciting. It is exciting. Are it you excited, Pete? I'm very excited. <laughs> 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 no, no, this is, you know, this is the thing. And what's lovely for me is that I have um, another edge to spitball ideas with, because if you do it yourself, yes, you'd get there in the end, but it's the suddenly you're second guessing yourself all the time, whereas somebody else takes that second guessing away and they say, well, I'm gonna hang on a minute, what if we do this? Oh, we don't want to put that there, do we, because of this? Things you don't think about, so it's really, really useful for me. But Pete, you've got your own project at home to do. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a break. Are you having a break? He's having a little break. I'm having a little break. Is it quite nice sometimes just to get away from it to somewhere else? It's nice to do some other types of work. Yeah. When you end up doing one room and all you're in and out that room all day long. Yeah. And the summer's here and it's uncomfortable, isn't it? Yeah. It is. It is. It's, wherever you work at the moment is so warm and you've never got the right clothes on. Yeah. And, you know, we don't want to parade about in her underwear. That's no, not pleasant. That's just, nobody wants that. No, thanks. Nobody you. wants that. <laughs> <laughs> Easy to do, or what? Then. Yeah, real easy. Yeah, please, please, Yeah, yeah. It's a really easy job. Yeah, I'm not sweating. I've just chucked a bucket of water up here. <laughs> Is that a silly question? <laughs> um, How's round, Pete? Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, this Nurse is the Lisa culprit. came to the rescue. Yeah. This is the culprit. Oh, I don't big yourself up. <laughs> Your bandages is hand about. It's not like you, you know. It's not open heart surgery. Well, nearly. I had this sewing kit out ready. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, right. Farmer's tail. <laughs> it's mad, isn't it? It's just mm. so much nicer not having any, you know, sleeves. Right, okay, so another morning begins. And this morning, I'm working in the piggeries too. Well, 
Well, hey. He's got no restaurant today. So the idea is, um, Ted and Pete obviously got the, the big pieces of plasterboard up. Ted then, over the weekend, has been doing the skylights, boxed in the skylights. But because we've had ooh, such a busy um, restaurant service, Ted has had been giving me a lot of pans, so he hasn't had much time really. But it does mean that today I can get started on the tape and jointing on the one that he's finished and Ted will finish the other one so that tomorrow I can tape and join that. So hopefully by the end of this week, the ceiling will be finished, do you think, baby? No. No. Well, we, our main problem is, is we have uh, electricity that we need to get in here. So um, most of this area will be done, but I can't box in the bottom of it until I know what's happening with our main cable, which is our only electricity into the into the other side of the pyramids. Um, until I can get our electrician in, who is seem, you know, I was always just mental busy. Um, we can't get further on. So it may well be that we have to do as much as we can do and then uh, you know we'll have to stop and move on to something else while we wait for him. Um, it, it's not a lot of work for him, I know it's not a lot of work for him, it's just nailing him down to try and get him in to do it. So yeah, we do as much as we can. Um, we are also waiting, and I can't do the bathroom because we are waiting for the third Velux, which we Ne didn't necessarily want to do, but we just think it's the most sensible thing to do is to bite the bullet, get the other Velux, put it in, then we never need to worry, hopefully, about anything else like that. So, And then we can finish off all the boarding in there. That won't take too long, and I've got Pete on standby to give me hand just to get the two big boards in either side, and then the finishing off is what I've done, to, you know. Uh, yesterday and the week and you know on Sunday and I need to you know there are so much other things to do I need to put the door on need to finish a little bit of jiggery and then we can start putting a paneling in here I need to paint the paneling don't I? yeah pa paneling needs to be well you don't know if you want to paint it in situ um, there's little jiggeries down either side that I've got to do so yeah little bits that have got to be finished off a um, little trim work that's got to be finished off. And we want this finished in... Two weeks.
over 30 degrees. It is extremely hot. And as you can see by the state of me, I'm getting on with uh, tape and joints in the ceiling. It's coming on really well actually, I'm really pleased. Um, I've done all the tape and joints and I've done all the second coat. So I'm just sanding it back now and hopefully tomorrow I may just get the time in before the restaurant reopens to give it its primer coat. Um, it's really great to be getting to this stage where we're, we're doing ceilings and looking at putting a coat of paint on. Ah! Can't believe it! It just seems to have taken forever. Um, but yeah, it's really hard work because it's all above my head. It's on an angle. My arms are aching. I'm sweating buckets and I look like I'm working in a cocaine factory. Yes. Perhaps I shouldn't have said that actually. That might, might not be the right thing to say. <laughs> oh my God, gonna get comments on that one. <laughs> this is hard work. You forget how hard it is in the summer. Just the heat of the day. But the only good thing is it does mean that you can work through to really late in the evening. Woo! Drink time. Okay, so the ceiling is done as a whole, but it's not finished. So you'll see around the edges where the plasterboard meets the stone, there are some big, big gaps. And I've been trying to think of how I'm going to mold that into each other. So it's seamless. And first of all, I thought, do I use map? But then I think the map goes off very hard. It's not as forgiving as mortar. So I'm going to try mortar first of all, I'm going to try mortaring it up and doing a sort of curved edge. I, I can't really explain it, it's in my head, I know what I think I want it to look like, whether it's going to or not is another matter. So I've mixed up a small bit of my, um, uh, mortar, lime mortar, I'm going to try and go around the edges and see what it's like. Now, I don't think I can really do some close ups of this, so I'm just going to do it and then I'll come back and show you what I've done and yeah. That's if it comes out all right. No, I'll show you it anyway. I'll show you it anyway. But um, yeah, do that. It's getting really exciting now because this place is really kind of coming together. I love this part of it. Sorry about the noise, but it is absolutely pouring down outside. Um, but yeah, I love this part. When you start painting and start doing the finishing touches. Yay! We're getting there. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Anyway, better crack up with this bit because it's already six o'clock at night. This is probably gonna take me a few more hours. Yeah, see you in a minute. has just seemed to have been forever, but getting that ceiling in now yeah. and finishing that, finishing the and everything. it's just such a step forward, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. And when you think, the amount of work that has gone into this 
just the roof, the and roof the ceiling. and the ceiling. You know, it's a, it's a hell of a job that you don't think about, and uh, you don't you, you don't calculate how much time goes into that, just that effort, and it's brilliant. And you know, well what do you think? Us. Like the first roof had to come off. All of the timbers replaced. Well, first thing was we had to rebuild the yeah, wall up. Yeah, we had to do all this. Build the yeah, wall yeah, up. To do all this. Put all the timbers in. Wash all the old tiles. Put them all back on the fountain, the insulation, the plasterboard. All that problem that we had with the bloody oh, haunting that took forever yeah. to try and sort out. That's the thing, and it, you know, it really does, you know, make you your head goes down, and you have got problems like that, and then it you it sort of goes out of your head. You forget about it. You, you have to move on with other things and then you come back to it and it's it's a long job it's a hell of a long job but we finally got to the end of just doing the same i just think it looks amazing it looks incredible it really does look incredible absolutely amazing and i'm really chuffed with the way i've done that yeah joining in there it's so. not all about you I know it's not all about me but i'm really pleased with it because my that did give me sleep nice. my 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 I suppose what I take away is one putting in the Velux is yes, first one got help with, the second two I did on my own. Um, and I really like it's it's a real nice job plasterboarded inside. Yeah, and they're probably job. not exact, you know, they're not the same as they are, you know, all of them, but they just look I just think they look incredible now they that do. they've been there all the time. They were just oh we just, you know. And the light that it brings in. It's just, just wonderful. It's just incredible. Even when you put, you know, put the door on, it, the difference in the light is not going to be that different. No. It's gonna, it's gonna be fantastic. So I'm well chuffed with it. Yeah, yeah. So crack on now. We'll see you all again soon. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget like and subscribe if you like the video. It really helps us with uh, bringing their numbers up. And um, we'll see you all again next time. Yeah, take, take care, care everyone. See you soon. Bye. Bye. And voila. Right, next job. Next job. Frame it. If you would like to hit a ride with us on this adventure, then please check out our Patreon page. For just five euros a month, you can help support our project. Receive behind the scenes footage, uncut videos, and have Zoom chats with me and Ted. Be part of the Monmania family on our patron-only Facebook page or make a one-off donation via our PayPal page. All of the links are in the description. You will then know that your contribution helps to preserve a piece of world history. Join us next time.